hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to resolve if you are having issue with roblox error code 403 authentication failed error message in roblox let's fix it guys this video will 100 percentage work solution guys i made it for you guys you make sure watch the whole video guys right click on the start button and select run type here percentage app data percentage app data percentage local app data guys l o c a l local app d a t a percentage again local app data percentage click ok you just need to search for roblox guys we get roblox right click on it and select delete option over here select delete it after deleting it close out of here make sure you just uh, not enabled the vpn connection for that go to search menu and type vpn settings open it If anything any VPNs are configured in it guys you just need to disable it guys in here if any VPNs are configured in it you just want to disable it after disabling it you just need to close out of here and go to search menu and type I N E T C P L dot C P L I N T I n e t c p l dot c p l open it guys opens up internet properties select the connections select the lan settings you just need to uncheck the proxy server in here guys make sure you just uncheck the box in here in proxy server use proxy servers for your lan just want to uncheck it after doing it click ok after doing it go back go to search menu and type a p p w i e z dot c p l a p p w i e z dot c p l click open it guys opens up uninstalled program you just want to right click on the roblox player you just want to right click on it and select uninstall guys or just select it and select uninstall option is here after uninstalling it close out of here and go to search menu and type go to open up any web browser guys and type roblox.com opens up roblox home guys we just want to select any games in here guys you just need to select any games and you just want to click on play option over here green icon wait for it you just need to select the play icon it will download and install the roblox app for you guys now you just want to download and install roblox click on it and it will install it you just need to install it guys open and done after installing it few more steps to do it guys wait for it roblox is successfully installed click to play button on any games join the action click ok and close out of here minimize it and you just want to do it go to search menu and type allo a l l o w allo an app through windows firewall open it and in here you just need to select the change settings if you see any roblox player games guys you just want to check mark the private and public if you not seen anything here click on allow another app before selecting it you just want to minimize it guys just need to check the file path location right click on the roblox player guys and select open file location just need to copy the file path guys in here just to copy it and after copying it close out of here after closing guys go to control panel in here 
select allow another app and select file path browse click on browse and you just need to paste it in here guys in the file path paste it in here and press enter and here we get roblox roblox player launcher beta just need to select the launcher and select open and browse again and select the roblox player beta and select open and you just need to add it you just need to add the both of items guys for that select allo and select again i am adding the roblox player launcher guys select add now in here we added both of it you just need to select the roblox private and public you just want to check mark it guys you just want to check mark it after doing it select ok and go to cmd guys go to search menu and type cmd opens up command prompt just need to click on run as administrator guys in here select run as administrator and select yes now you just need to check my video description for these four three commands guys copy the commands and paste it in guys right click and exit and paste it in press enter after finishing this first command copy the second command guys i am using ctrl v and ctrl c just uh, copy and paste it in press enter successfully flash the dns dollar cache you, you must restart the computer in order to reset close out of here and just restart your pc after restarting your pc you should go to go guys your problem has been resolved at this point and that's it for today's video guys i hope this tutorial definitely helpful guys give me a like and subscribe thank you